It's among the most common knee injury for athletes involved in contact and pivoting sports or for anyone at any age. Today we're talking about meniscus tears. Dr. Todd Kern of OSS Orthopedic is here to educate us on this. What is the meniscus and how do we damage it? Well, the meniscus itself is a wedged piece shape of cartilage that sits uh, uh, in the knee between the thigh bone and shin bone. You have an inside meniscus and an outside meniscus. Okay. So then what happens to it? How do we know if we've torn it? Uh, the meniscus can tear. It can be an acute sudden tear, usually with athletes who are either squatting or twisting on the knee. But in older individuals, it can be just a degenerative type tear where the oh. meniscus actually thins or weakens. And it can be a simple awkward step or twist to the knee or standing up from a sitting position. What would it feel like to a patient or how do they know, hmm, maybe that's what I did? Typically, most pa patients complain about a pop in their knee uh, with onset of pain and swelling over the next several days. Um, typically, with a meniscus, a lot of patients complain about uh, stiffness and swelling in the knee, uh, catching locking type sensation, sometimes a giving way sensation, loss of range of motion, or the typical symptoms. Yikes, okay. Thankfully, though, you know, we're not hosed here. We can get some help. How do you treat this? I mean, there are surgical and non surgical options, right? True. It depends on the type of meniscus tear there is. Uh, there, there are two types of meniscus tears or two zones of the meniscus. A tear in the outer third where there's a good rich blood supply has a chance to heal on its own oh. or it may require oh. surgery. Okay. Uh, tears to the inner two thirds where the blood supply is not as good typically will not heal on their own. Without that blood supply, the meniscus cannot mend itself together. And typically with those, based on the patient's symptoms and activity level, will require surgery. Okay, how intense is that surgery? Well, uh, arthroscopic surgery for a meniscus tear is one of the most common orthopedic procedures performed. Oh, great. Uh, it's an outpatient surgery where the orthopedic surgeon will make small incisions or portals around the knee, place a miniature camera in the knee, as well as miniature in instruments in the knee to either trim back the torn meniscus or actually they can put stitches in it and fix the meniscus. That's really interesting. Um, let's talk about rehab. Um, is that something you would use post-surgery, but also maybe if, if you said, hey, if it's in that one area, you don't mi maybe need surgery? Is that something like rehab, you would use some therapy if it's, there? If you decide to do a non-operative treatment there, uh, rehab would be a very big part of it, as well as using uh, ice and compression and rest for the first few weeks there. With surgery, the rehab will depend on what's been done. If it's been a meniscus that was just trimmed out or a meniscus that was repaired, uh, the rehab is very different. Uh, typically, you're going to have a, a period of restricted weight bearing after the surgery. Once the initial healing is complete, your doctor will probably recommend doing physical therapy or home exercises to reestablish range of motion, strength, and function of your knee. Very good. And for more information, or if maybe somebody's watching and thinks, hey, this might be going on with me, how can we reach you guys? Uh, you can go to OSSHealth.com uh, through the internet uh, or we do have a, a phone number through the internet that can be reached to make an appointment if you feel like you have a meniscus tear and want to be evaluated. Very good. Thank you so much for sharing this information with us today. You're welcome. We'll be right back with more Good Day PA with Zombies. <laughs>